Hello everyone. So today I'm going to talk about OCR, optical character recognition. I realize that I have mentioned it a couple times before, but I never really got into detail about how to use it and what it's all about. So just briefly, OCR stands for optical character recognition. So what is this? This means that it takes usually a photo or a PDF or something like that, and it parses it and tries to recognize text, to recognize the characters. And uh, so why would you need this? Well, you would need this if you're a translator, if you have something like this, if you have a photo of text. This is just a photo that I took, by the way. And so if you have a photo uh, that has text in it, but it's not recognized as text, as you, as you see, I can't highlight anything. So if I want to use any cat tool, I can't put it in. But for any reason, if you ever want to have text from an image, then you should use an optical character recognition uh, tool because otherwise you'll be copying this out all by hand. As you can see, I took this myself and you can see my finger here. The border is a bit off and the text starts to bend down here. So it's by no means a perfect scan or anything. So I kind of want to see how these OCR websites uh, deal with this. Now I'm going to choose one free and one paid. And uh, the free one, I'm not sure. I haven't used a free one in a while. And uh, this is the paid one. This is the one that I use. And it's called onlineocr.net. And quite frankly, I think it's probably the best one, the standard one out there. I have no affiliation with them. I have nothing to do with them. It's just the one that I use. And uh, I prefer to use this one. Even though you have to pay, the prices aren't bad. I'll go through the prices later on. This is a free one. I literally just went through three other websites for free OCRs and they didn't work. So hopefully this one will work. I'm doing this site unseen because uh, if this one doesn't work, then quite frankly, uh, I won't bother looking for another free OCR. You can if you want to, but this is just to give you an idea as to how they work. So let's pick the file that we're going to use. And once again, it's the picture I took, JPEG format, language English. Now this is also important because it does more than just try to recognize if they're Roman letters or if it's a Cyrillic alphabet or Chinese characters or something like that, but it actually tries to figure out what language it's, uh, is being written. And so if I choose a language other than English, then the results will be quite different. Detect orientation, auto rotate image. I don't think there's any need for this. Receipt scanning, no table recognition, auto enlarge content. Sure. Uh, I'm not, again, I'm not sure about these. I'm just uh, going through these, create searchable PDF. Just extract the text, I don't care about the rest. Use OCR engine. Default, fast, often better for numbers special. I don't need numbers and special characters, so I'll use OCR1. Image preview, looks good enough. So let's start the OCR. Now let's go to the paid one and let's do the exact same thing. I can pick the language once again. Microsoft, I want the output in Microsoft Word. All pages, it's just one page and uh, the rest should be self-explanatory. And while this one's loading, let's see. Parse successfully, download searchable PDF. Results for page image one. Okay, this did not return anything at all. So let's see. Nope. So this was pretty much a waste. Let's see how this was actually worse than I thought it would be. If I'm getting something wrong, please let me know. Maybe it's the JSON file I should be looking into, but I shouldn't because it has nothing to do with text. No, uh, no, this didn't work. So let's go to the free one, and, or let's go to the paid one, sorry. Now you'll see why I used paid versions. And let's download this, open it. Yeah, and here it came out. So as you can see from my finger, it has a photo there. Uh, and then we go through here. So it has this odd thing here. I'm not sure what that did to the text. Let's go over to the photo and see what it has here. I want you to come join us. I'm fine. Men who are around pretty girls are like King Kong. Why don't you come join us? I'm fine. Men who are around pretty girls are like King Kong. So it seems like the text is there intact. I'm not sure why this showed up, but I can just delete it. And then it shows up like this. It's, uh, it's on the side a bit, but otherwise it works. Otherwise, the text seems fine. As you can see, it automatically also, since it spits it out in Microsoft Word, obviously it spell checks everything. Very often, by the way, this background photo, yeah, you can just get rid of the, back, the dark background and it almost looks like a normal text. If you know Microsoft Word, you know, but what you can do is you can just kind of copy all of this, choose a new document, and then paste it as 
unformatted text and it should just come out as text. You get the idea. So that's pretty much it. As you can see, I think the paid one is more than worth it. Uh, let me show you the prices quickly, uh, just so you get an idea. For 50 pages, it's $4.95. 100 pages, $8.95. As you can see, I have quite a few available pages. I just went for the higher number of pages because to me it's worth it. Hopefully you have a better idea now as to how OCR works, what it is exactly and how it works. Once again, I recommend not messing around. I told you this was literally the fourth one I tried. I can go through the other ones that I tried here. I, li I, just, t I just did a Google search for free OCR. I tried this, I tried this, I tried this. None of those worked. All right, uh, this one worked, but or it seemed like it was gonna work, but I had to download an, a Google extension. And then uh, this one is the one I just did with you guys. I'm, you know, I could go on, but I won't. Uh, however, with the online OCR that you pay for, this is what you pay and this is what you get. Now, it says free online OCR here, I think because they actually do let you try it out for free at the beginning. You get a couple pages for free before you actually have to pay. So feel free to give it a try. If you have a short document, a small document, you can probably do the document like the one I just did for free. Anyway, that's it. I hope you found this useful and I hope that you are able to use optical character recognition for your job and for whatever you may need it for. And if you have another one that you recommend, if it's free or paid or whatever, feel free to let me know because I'd be happy to check it out. I haven't checked out new ones in a few years now just because I've been happy with this one, but I'm always happy to check out new ones and see how they are. So that's pretty much it. Otherwise, I'll talk to you next time. Thanks. Bye. Savedum.